Just people's mindset try to push the narrative like, yo, this kid is a rat. This kid is a snitch. If you say he a snitch, if this blog, this blog, this blog says he's a snitch, when he comes home, nobody's going to f*** with him. So if we keep pushing that narrative, nobody's going to f*** with him. Fast forward, I come home. Everybody loves me. Takashi69 is back in the game and a lot of people are not happy about it. He is now more hated than ever. After the release of his new song Gooba and all of the trolling that he's done, a lot of people have said some very negative comments about 6 9 which he has recently responded to. You will not want to miss 6 9s reactions to all the hate he is getting, so stay tuned. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a fan of 6 9 and if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck. Now, as many of you have seen, 6 9 is officially back in the game and his popularity is higher than ever. He has only been out for less than 2 months and has already broken an Instagram record and a YouTube record. His first Instagram live video had over 2 million live viewers and his music video for Gooba broke the record for the most viewed hip hop video in 24 hours. So regardless if you hate him or not, it's safe to say that everyone who said that his career would be over after he snitched was dead wrong because right now his career is more successful than ever. There have been rumors saying that the Instagram views and YouTube views were only that high because of fake views from bots. I don't really know how the view bots would work, especially for the Instagram live video, but I would assume that if there were that many bots, Instagram or YouTube would have caught it. It would have been more of a fact than a rumor, so until it is a proven fact, right now we have to assume that all of those views are legit and he is more trending than he has ever been. With 6 9 officially being back, there has been a lot of negative things said about him, not just by his old fans, but by many other rappers. See, I ain't drive my location. I ain't gotta relocate. Come on, car here. I ain't snitched on nobody. Bitch ass niggas. But today, I got time. You better get the fuck off my line, nigga. Rat boy. You really better leave me alone. I ain't the one. No way. No way. Go on and do your shit and get out my way, bitch. We already knew this would happen because of the snitching, but it is very bad. A lot of people have negative things to say, and he has already been going back and forth with Rich the Kid, Meek Mill, Snoop Dogg, Gucci Man. He's even commented about Lil TJ and a bunch of other rappers already. We all thought that he might not be able to troll, but since his release, he has been able to use social media and he has been back to trolling. I don't know if that's very smart, but he's doing it. And almost anyone who is against him has been calling him a rat and basically telling everyone that he should not be supported, which in my opinion is, is only going to get him supported more because it just keeps his name trending. So far, 6 9 has pretty much lost any cosign that he's ever had and pretty much his entire fan base except for a select few. In my opinion, his views will continue to go up regardless, only because of all the attention he's getting, negative or not, his name is in everyone's mouth, so even if it's bad publicity, in his case, it's still good publicity. And in my opinion, 6 9 is very good at turning his bad situations into good ones. Already, people are handing Meat Mill and Rich the Kid the L instead of 6 9 after their back and forths. So even with all the hate and being called a rat by everyone, 6 9 is completely spinning it, and it's actually pretty insane how good he is at doing this. You might hear them um, getting caught with drugs, getting caught with a gun, stab somebody, do those kind of crimes, and they're going to come to prison. One of the reasons that they're going to come to prison. Oh, never come. I mean, Snoop was on, you know, we'd be the murder trial for him, and then he was on probation, then he got caught with two ounces of marijuana, then he got caught with guns, and each time it's nothing, they're not going to violate him. Because for the street guys, the street guys know what I'm talking about. There's no puzzle. I mean, if you get a guy that constantly get into trouble and never gonna come to prison, that's because he's a form, he's a rat, a snitch, yeah. you know. And I say I really wanted to register in y'all rappers' head because y'all really thought it was over. And I know when I was locked up, y'all prayed every night like, God, please, God, please don't let him come home and be lit again. God, please, every time I open the gram, all I see is him. Y'all wasting prayers, homie. Huh? Y'all didn't really have a reason to dislike me just because I screamed in raps and I got rainbow head. That was y'all reason, right? Or he's mad. The go-to is, oh, he snitched. He's a rat. He's a rat. So that's y'all go-to, which I understand and I don't blame y'all. I can't blame y'all. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry 
to my fans because they don't deserve it. My, my, my family, my mother, my family don't deserve that. In his music video for Gooba, he trolled everyone by putting a rat emoji over his face. Then during his IG live, he explained his snitching situation, basically saying why would he stick up for people who beat and robbed him and slept with his baby mama. Plus, he's back on trolling on Instagram against any rapper who has anything negative to say about him. He's basically owning what he did and trying to flip it in any way possible. And the crazy thing is, it's actually working. Already, you see a lot of the comments starting to change from rat to he has a point. There will always be people who will hate 6 9 no matter what and who will never support him, but in my opinion, no one else in the world could take all the hate that he gets and flip it like he does. He truly is one of a kind with the trolling and how he handles it all. The thing is, is that he uses his Instagram very, very well to his advantage. With his comments that he says the rappers saying bad things about him and the video little snippets that he makes about other rappers just trolling them, he's very very good at responding to all of it and making him look like the one that's taking the dub and he's handing all these other rappers L's because he just embarrasses them. Somehow he does it, it's just a thing that 6 9 can only do, he's one of a kind in that scenario. But we cannot forget that his life will always, he will always be in danger. No matter how much he trolls or no matter how much his numbers go up, he will always have to look over his shoulder and who knows how long he could keep his head above water because after his house arrest is up, who knows if he's going to move around but if he does, all it takes is him getting caught one time and that is the end of 6 9 but with that being said, I am going to end the video here. I do want to know where you all stand with 6 9 Are you still a fan or is it F that rat no matter what? You will never support him no matter what after what he did. I'm curious to see how many people still co-sign 6 9 so comment down below if you do. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Mixed Ice Media, see you in the next one.